So when we started off with the project initially of getting an oboe's fit, what would become the oboe's fit? One of the first things we did was um, get scans of all kinds of feet out there. So, you know, hundreds of different people and what their feet look like, you know, and these are people from all walks of life all across North America. And when you do that, you get a, a basically an average of, of all these people's feet. So like uh, a last, in other words, that's going to fit the majority of people out there. And we call this a North American last. So, you know, traditionally a North American last is like a medium uh, heel fit, right? So when we talk about the heel, it's not wide, it's not narrow, it's medium. And then it has a, a nice roomy wide toe box. This is a traditional North American fit. It's going to fit about 80% of the population. Um, you know, further to that, one of the things that Oboes is really famous for is what we call a midfoot hug. So when you lace the shoe up, it really holds that midfoot in securely. It's the first thing that you know, a lot of us notice when we first try on an Oboes. Then you have that roomy toe box, your, feet, your toes can wiggle, and that really tenacious heel grip. So um, we talked about the average width of our shoes, which we call a North American medium. The other uh, thing you should know is that a lot of our shoes come in a wide width. So when we talk about wide width, it mainly accounts for additional room in the forefoot of the shoe. So make sure you know which shoes in your store come in wide um, so you can offer those to your customers.